want to introduce you to a little teenager called Charlie Kalman. Okay. The divisions have dropped. This is for South End. But he came on in his debut at 16 years of age and did that. So FIFA 20 is back with a bang. And the Yoha are the only, safest, the most reliable place for you to get your FIFA coins. And if you use my discount code GOMP at the checkout, you'll get yourself a discount. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the youngest professional debuts in football. I don't know if you saw yesterday, but a 14, no, a 15 year old kid came on the pitch for Malaga against Real Madrid. And today we're going to be taking a look at a whole load of players who have come on under the age of 16. I mean, at 16, are we still playing Modern Warfare 2 and these kids are jogging around on a football pitch? If you're new around here, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and if any of you want to win yourself a pack of strawberry chewits right now, drop a like on today's video. Let's start with that little kid that came on the pitch yesterday. His name, Luca Romero. He came on at 15 years of age. He's running around on the same pitch as Gareth Bale, Isco, Benzema. The kid's 15. He's got one of the worst mullets I've ever seen. Oh my God, but take your hat off. This is absolutely like, this is crazy to watch a little 15 year old running around the pitch. I'm hearing the next Messi. I'm hearing all sorts of stuff. Mexican, Argentina, I don't know where he's from, but I'm hearing all sorts of rumors. This little mullet kid is gonna be the future of football. If you're jogging around on a pitch at 15, on a professional pitch against your idols, Tony Cruz is trying to mark him. <laughs> Tony Cruz is marking a 15 year old kid. That's borderline weird. But don't ever forget, Kylian Mbappe, just because we know and we love Kylian Mbappe in 2020. You roll, you roll back four years ago, he was coming on the pitch as a 16 year old youngster that nobody knew about. Coming on for his debut for Monaco, shocking the whole world, this guy of course went on to be, <laughs> some like to say the best striker in the world. From a 16 year old little bald headed ninja turtle kid with big dreams and aspirations to one of the best strikers in the world four years later. Do you know what? Kylian Mbappe, you have won at life. You have absolutely killed it. Nothing but respect for you, buddy. That is just, it's brilliant. 16, we forget how young he actually was. And don't you dare sleep on my little brother, Karamoko Dembele. Celtic fans, this is your moment to stand up and be proud that you've got a 16 year old who looks about 13, he's that small, running around on the pitch doing bits for in the first team. And you know what, he actually nearly scored, he went on a mad crazy run, but mate, he's dribbling, his football brain at 16. This, he's a special young kid, he's a big, big talent, he's so small. You think, no way he can handle a professional pitch. Just look at him, just look at him on his debut against Hearts, ripping the shit out of them. They're like, gosh, we, we, we don't know whether to tackle this kid. He's like my little baby brother. Can I put a foot in? Will I get in trouble? Mate, if he's old enough to be on a professional pitch, he's old enough to take a tackle. But Karamoko Dembele, I promise you, you are witnessing a special young talent. If you haven't heard of this kid by now, I beg you, get on YouTube, type his name in the search bar, and go and witness. This kid is going to be a icon. Look at him, joking. On his debut, he's just doing bits. Man, what a superstar. You must have already heard about Harvey Elliott, Liverpool's 16-year-old youngster. Well, he's 17 now, but when he made his debut, coming on against Leon, 16 this kid was. So much passion, look at him. So much determination, taking on all those defenders at once. Look at him. He's like that little annoying kid who you just can't get the ball off him. You just want, in the end, you just gotta snap him. This kid, I'm telling you, he's got a lot of haters. People don't like him already. A little bit greedy. A little bit of a, a bit of a little shit. He's being involved in a bit of controversy already. But trust me, you can't take away talent. Him and his shit haircut are gonna go a long way, trust me. Look at him, bruv. He's he got you on your debut for Liverpool, coming on and just dealing with defenders like they don't even count, mate. Oh, I've got respect and I've got time for this kid. Like I said, he's got a lot of maturing to do, he's got a lot of growing up to do. But mate, if he carries on with this sort of confidence, Harvey Elliott is gonna be a mad team. Are we looking at the next Raheem Sterling? Yeah, he might be white, the white Raheem Sterling, you can call him. 
How are we looking at him? Let me know. What do you want, I want to introduce you to a little teenager called Charlie Kalman. Okay. The divisions have dropped. This is for South End. But he came on in his debut at 16 years of age and did that. Oh my. If you come on, on your debut at 16 and score from your own half, I don't want to hear a single hater. That is one of the biggest, like, mind-blowing achievements I've ever seen a youngster do. To bang the ball from his own half on his debut at 16 for South End. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. What about Barcelona's Ansu Fati? Now, this kid is a superstar. A lot of people already know about him. At 16 years of age, this kid stripped off Shut on the Barcelona jersey and started running around on the same pitch as Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets. Look at him. What? Bro, he's 16 years of age. He just gave the ball to Vidal. Like, can you imagine? Can you try and get that through your head? You're running around on a pitch full of your icons, superstars. And you're just 16 years of age. Bro, I was still playing Call of Duty on my Xbox. I still do, but I was at 16. Do you know what I mean? This dude's on the same pitch as Messi, Vidal, Busquets. Bro, it's just absolutely ridiculous. You've got to take your hat off. Griezmann. Like, what? And you know what? It's a great debut as well. He's getting involved. Look at this. He's having chances. He's playing with confidence. Are we looking at another superstar? And Sufati. What do you Barcelona fans reckon? Have you got faith in him? Is he the next up? Because we know Barcelona loves to bring next up. Ansu Fati could be looking at a superstar. And the same goes for Real Madrid's 16 year old Taki Fusa Kubo. The little Japanese wizard, Real Madrid youngster, 16 years of age, making his professional debut against Bayern Munich. Uh, you know, not, not the easiest of debuts you could ever come on the pitch for, is it? From it at the deep end and showing, you know what, he can handle it. Played at least 60 minutes of the game. Running around, getting involved with the ball, getting touches, playing with confidence. I like it. I like it. Is he going to be next up? I don't know. Every team seems to have their youngster, don't they? They're bringing through 15-year-olds. They're bringing through 16-year-olds. Teams are even bringing through 14-year-olds. But look at this. Real Madrid having faith in a 16-year-old little Japanese kid. you got to love it. Look at the balls he's playing as well. I like this kid. Are we going to be seeing him on the next FIFA? That's what I want to know. Yes, Real Madrid did get slapped. 3-0 <laughs> that game, but I mean, the fact that you've come on, made your professional debut and made an impact, that's all that matters. You're 16 years of age. You've got 20 years of football to play. Mad. And I've made you lot wait until the end because there's a player who made his professional debut at 12 years of age. I don't even know if that's legal, but in Bolivia it clearly is. He ended up getting injured because people were snapping him. Bro, like, the kid's 12 years old. The kid's still, he just come out of primary school. And you're getting him running around on a professional pitch. I want to see the legal side of this because I, I need to know the law. Like, this can't be right. There's something that seems real dodgy about this. Were his papers dodgy? I don't know. Who knows if he was even 12? They could have a nine-year-old running around on the pitch. Either way, this guy is the youngest player to make a professional debut at 12 years of age in the Bolivian League in 2009. I don't know if they've changed the law since then because he actually got snapped and was crying. So, I mean, you're going to get that with 12-year-old kids, in you? But, I mean, what the? 12? 12? How desperate can you be as a team to be playing 12-year-olds? Like, surely you can find someone else until he's a little bit older. I've seen it all today. 